And bourbon, sometimes you buy it to drink it, sometimes you buy it to collect it, sometimes you buy it to mark momentous occasions. And uh, today we're going to kind of talk about that. Agreed. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to talk about, you know, for as much as this t channel has sentimental value on things, <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about sentimental bottles. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think one of the cool things you can do in bourbon is you can have things that are very sentimental to you yeah. for, for a multitude of reasons. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, this is a very passionate hobby of mine. So anytime I can tie in certain very important situations, moments, yeah. whatever, achievements, I always like to do that. Um, you know, and the good thing is we've been a part of some of these together. Yes. Yes. So yeah, for that, sure. that's been the fun part. Yeah. Uh, but before we start, though, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notifications, and put down in the comments below what bottles you're saving or what bottles you've had for special moments, you yep. know, whatever they would be, raises, promotions, kids, whatever. Yep, whatever it is. Um, I'll, I'll start. Uh, okay. Because most of mine aren't really that sentimental. You got, I, you got, I, I, I got some, but the truth is, is like I started my bourbon journey after like I had kids and stuff like that. And so going back and trying to you, get... We tried getting, you know, for some birthday yeah. bourbon the other day. That didn't work out. Yeah, so going, going after some of the things that would require me to like mark momentous occasions in my life like they're far back and they would cost way too much money uh for me to to kind of do that true but um as we've uh done this it's been it's been kind of fun and my first one is and you're gonna look at this and go well what who cares about that uh here's the truth um we made friends uh two years ago with a couple of guys from michigan our michigan boys they are Michigan boys. Uh, and over those two years, uh, we've actually, like, if they come in town, we generally see them. It, and uh, It literally takes an illness from one of my children for me not to have a chance to see them. Yeah, yeah. And, which and, happens a lot. And so because of that, like, uh, this happened to be uh, one of the first bottles that we couldn't get down here. That we wanted, yeah. That we wanted. Yeah. And so I... I made a call up to him and said, "Hey, listen, uh, can is there any way you can get me one of those Origin small batches?" And without hesitation, uh, Jim and Rob kind of stepped in. I can't remember which one actually bought it for me. I think it was Jim that actually bought it for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if I'm wrong on that, sorry, Rob. If I'm wrong, <laughs> I love you both. So it is what it sure. is. Uh, but. Nothing special about this bottle. They can get it all day long, but this kind of was like the mark in we going from kind of acquaintances to friends. Yeah. And uh, and so I don't drink much out of this bottle. I, I mean, I, I got three quarter of it left and it's just because I, I want it to last. And I know if I needed another one, I could call them. Uh, and you can bet we're going to call them when, that to the, when the toasteds come out. <laughs> that is true. Because we're going to need to get our hands on those. So, uh, Jim and Rob, be ready for that. And all the other ones that we've met now. Ed, uh, well, Ron. And Ron's actually down here in Louisville now. So, we get to see him probably more than we get to see them. So, the anyway, awesome. uh, this kind of is a representation of our Michigan friendship. And so, yeah. I, I, this that's why this bottle's on the list. I agree with that. Um, all right. So, my first one I'm going to do is a little bit of an older Yellowstone pick, or not pick, but when they're, I don't know if it was their first, it, well, it wasn't their first because it came out forever ago. But um, the reason why this bottle is special to me, whenever I, the night before my wedding, uh, we went over to my buddy Dean's house and a mutual friend of ours, he actually was like, hey, you like whiskey? I'm gonna get some whiskey for us to drink that night. And he actually picked up one of these. Yeah. So what he didn't know, and what I didn't know at the time is that I would end up actually just straight up loving this bottle. And the only reason why he bought it is because it came into a fancy tube. It's the only reason why he bought it. It's always... Uh, it, listen. It, it literally... When people question marketing, the only reason why he bought it is because it came in a tube. 
Uh, what he didn't know at the time is they were sourcing this, and the source from it had a much older Jim Beam in it. Yeah. Uh, apparently, and that was why it ended up being so good. Uh, but it takes me back to great memories of our night because we sat, we stayed up late playing cards. We had a great time, and just overall, it just I appreciate those moments in my life. The older I get, the more I appreciate those, and it was just a great time. Yep, awesome. Um, my next one is a uh, Breckenridge whiskey. Uh, this is a distillery only release, and I got this in Colorado when I was in Breckenridge, Colorado staying and nothing special about it other than I just love, it was such a great vacation. We had such a good time. Um, if you ever have been to Breckenridge, Colorado, you know it's like one of the most expensive places to be. And in 2020, uh, we took a family vacation and we stayed in this baller house that sh like, if you look it up now, it's like, I think it's like fifteen or twenty thousand dollars to stay for a week. We stayed what? for yeah, we stayed for a week for under four thousand dollars at this house. Uh, and we had no business staying there. We had no business being in Breckenridge, Colorado, but we were there and it was a blast. Shocked and, that you lucked into something like and that. And the distillery was there and they had just dropped this distillery only release. And I have yet to open it because I probably I don't I don't know if I will open it. Maybe at some point. Uh, but it's a nine-year single barrel distillery only release. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what we end up doing with it. But it makes me think back to my vacation. So that's cool. All right, next one. And I have quite a few of these bottles to be honest with you. Um, I'm just gonna use one for an example, but basically any of the bottles that I have that would represent like for like any of my kids, basically. Yeah. Um, I've I, I'm a big fan of collecting birthday bourbon, obviously, for my kids. Uh, one day to either give them, share with them, whatever. Uh, Dave was super kind for my son. He actually found a Blanton's with his birthday on there, yeah. which is super great. Um, just stuff like that. Anything that can evolve e or, or revolve around my kids when it comes to bourbon. Um, the simple fact of just being able to have special bottles saved back for them. Uh, to experience with them in hopes that they enjoy them. I mean, who knows? They might absolutely hate it. Yeah. Which, you know, is what you gamble with, right? Um, but that's obviously, um, I think, what most people can can kind of relate to. Yeah. And I've just been very fortunate to where that's something that, I don't want to say it's been easy to get, but they've been able to, to be acquired. Yeah. Uh, my next one is um, a... Heaven Hill Select Stock. This is a uh, you do bourbon experience. Bottle your own, whatever they call it. I can't remember what it's called. What is it? Bottle your I think own. It's uh, you do bourbon. You do bourbon. Uh, whatever it is. Uh, so I got this. Uh, <laughs> Can I hold it? Yeah. Uh, for uh, like last year, uh, my dad and I went on a uh, on a tour. He had never been to Heaven Hill to do a tour, and so we did that and. Uh, just as I get older in my age and my dad gets older in age to be able to do stuff and hang out with him as much as possible is always a joy and if we can mark those things with bottles of bourbon at the end of it hey I don't blame you what what Tate, that, hey Tate's the man I, lo I love I love your dad yeah so he's one of my favorite people. what's better than that than to be able to spend time and then get a bottle of bourbon at the end of it great all right, so my next one is a E.H. Taylor Warehouse C. So this bottle, it's actually a really funny story with this. Um, I have a really good friend who lives out in Nashville. He won a well, liquor store lottery. Mm -hmm. um, his his wife is actually local to here. She, she was actually here, and I became friends with him just by random circumstance. But... He comes up here a couple times a year and he let me know, he's like, hey, I was just told I won my local lottery. Can you help me on what I should buy? And the best bottle they, that they had there was this. So whenever he comes into town, he gave it to me, but when he comes into town, it's the only time we drink it. Yeah. So it's kind of cool, the fact that I've been able to build a friendship off this and and with him. And it was just honestly by circumstance, because he's a beer guy. Like at the end of the day, he's a hardcore beer guy who kind of likes whiskey just because his friends like whiskey. But he's not really into whiskey. Yeah. yeah. So it's always funny because he always brings up some really nice beer. 
And then I bring this out and he's like, I don't know if I love this. And I definitely always hate his beer that he has because it's always something unique, finish, whatever. Yeah. You would probably love it. Yeah, yeah. I'd but, like to meet this guy. But I absolutely hate it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to beer. But it's always super fun because yeah. I, I, you know, he, he bought it. He gifted it to me, and the only time that we drink it is whenever he's in town. So. That's that's super. And cool. sadly, I was I was texting Chris the other day because he hasn't been in town for like a year, and I was like, "Dude, you need to come in town. We need to hang out and stuff like that." And then he's like, "Come down to Nashville for the SEC tournament." And I was like, "Funny story." So funny story. But anyways, all right, Chris. Uh, my last sentimental bottle. Again, this one has to do with my dad. Um, uh, but this is actually. I'm going to be honest, this is a shout out to Michter's um, mm-hmm. in, in a large way. Uh, so, you know, sometimes just relationships happen and you get lucky and things like that. I'm not going to tell the whole story because I don't, like, it's not worth telling the whole story. But my dad and I, for Father's Day, uh, I took my dad to Michter's and uh, we just did like a normal tour. But uh, we had had some conversations with some people ahead of time, and they pulled my dad and I to the, to the side and said, hey, uh, we're going to take you over here so you can bottle your own. So we got to do, and if you've you know been to Victor's and done bottle your own, there's nothing like special. Like this is the bottle your own experience. Uh, uh, it's very special. Yeah, I mean, it's and awesome. I'm just saying like this isn't a special release of it or anything. This is yeah. just your standard bottle your own experience and stuff like that. And so we got to do that. Um, but in, in doing that as well, we got to go up to the bar, we got drinks at the bar, uh, we came downstairs and um, it was just a, a really cool experience that um, I, if I ever get to meet Joe in person, I will shake his hand and tell sure. him thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Joe, if you're watching this, you probably don't even remember, uh, but I appreciate your hospitality and I appreciate you, what you did for uh, my dad and I. So. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, and my last one is going to be a <laughs> Heaven Hill 17-year. Dave, you can stop crying. Um, this bottle was gifted to me from my wife for Father's Day, talking about Father's Day previously. So this was com- from a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, as you all can still tell, it's a little hard to see in the light. There's still a little bit left. Uh, it is getting nursed. Um, he thanked me for that one because that one was because of me. <laughs> He was trying to get an old Forester barrel strength. Mm. Um, you should be thinking, because mm. you know you were able to try that one. Yeah, and yeah, drink plenty yeah, of it. That is Thank true. you. Uh, but no, going going back, uh, my wife got this for me for Father's Day. I'm just, it, it. You know, whenever you're married, you know, there's obviously gifts that are given out. Yeah. And I was I always explain to my wife, I don't want to get something that. I, I want to get you something that you want, not that I want to give you. Yeah. And I want it yeah. to be that way. So, because, you know, we always as individuals, like, we're like, oh, I know she would love this or he would like that. And it's like, well, what does he really want? Yeah. And the fact that she goes out and she worked hard to be able to get this for me. And um, I'm just super grateful. And she got me a Willet this year for yep. Christmas, which I'm yep. also super grateful for as well. Um, but yeah. So it's just stuff like that that just means the world to me. So I'm also working on buttering her up for the next yeah, Father's Day. So, always, you know. always. All right. So tell us what's on your sentimental list. I, we'd, I'd love to hear. I mean, write a story. Is like I'd love to see some of this. That'd stuff. be awesome. Um, I love that bourbon can tell a story. I love that uh, you know this isn't just always just about drinking a, mm-hmm. a brown liquid. Sometimes it's uh, there's there's stories behind it that kind of honestly drive it in some ways and so yeah i uh, just totally appreciate that so uh i know i think you said it before but hit the like subscribe turn on the notifications let us know what some of your sentimental bottles are and until the next time we'll see you we will see you